Gotta hand it to you, Commander. That's the first time I've seen someone end a war by yelling. After seeing what the Geth Rebellion really looked like, I figured they deserved a chance. Thank you, Commander. I doubt many organics would have trusted a synthetic race. And now we've got two fleets for the price of one. We didn't lose anybody. Except Legion, before it sacrificed itself. Legion referred to itself as I instead of we. Yeah? So? The singular pronoun indicates Legion's independent personality had fully actualized. In its last moments, it was not an avatar of the Geth Consensus. It was a person. That's what I figured. Well, when the Geth fleet helps us retake Earth, I guess we'll owe that to... him. Trainer, can you send up Diana Allers? She wants to talk to me. She's on her way, Commander. I'm sure you've got a million questions. I narrowed it down to 40. Let's see how you do with the top 10. Commander, the last time most of us heard about Geth, they were attacking the Citadel alongside Sovereign. Yes, and you should know that was a minority of the Geth. Most of them are not hostile to organics. Is that how you explain that they're allies, and no longer dangerous robots who stick humans on spikes? What you have to realize is that despite their reputation, most Geth are not inherently violent. The Quarians attacked them. The Geth fought back in self-defense, just like any organic would. Now that we've freed the Geth from Reaper control, they'll want payback for their enslavement. But you're going to take an army of synthetics to fight Reapers with untold hacking abilities. What's keeping the Reapers from reprogramming the Geth like they have before? The Geth are extremely intelligent, and they put incredible thought into solving this problem. They're not going to turn again. I bet my life on it. Now here's a question from a Batarian on Omega. Commander Shepard, if the mass relays can be destroyed... So did I miss anything? Do you have any questions? You gonna go file your story now? Well, if you don't mind. Go tell the galaxy what we've done. They could use some good news. Aye aye, Commander. Can't be. No. I guess that's right. Hey, Tally. How's it going? Oh, sorry. I didn't hear you. I just got communication from the fleet. Sorry. Uh, from Ramok. In the old days, I'd send any new technology I found back to the fleet. I should probably be doing that with the agriculture samples now. I, I don't know anything about raising crops. How are your people doing? It's crazy. The Geth are... helping. Setting up housing, adapting power systems. They are doing in weeks what would have taken us years. Geth are even uploading into the suits of Quarian volunteers. They're rewriting environmental functions, jump-starting our immune systems. That doesn't seem possible. The Geth are software, not hardware. They can transfer themselves from a normal body into anything with enough processing power. They're mimicking infections, so the host can adapt without getting sick. It's like making a vaccine. So the Quarians won't have to wear those suits anymore? It doesn't seem possible, but... Yes, in a few years, with Geth improvements, we won't need them. We might still wear them. The suits have become part of our society. But a rupture won't be a death sentence. Today, on Ranok, there are Quarian children who will grow up healthy and strong, thanks to the Geth. They owe that to you? No. I'd have killed the Geth with no regrets, and I'd have been wrong. Thank you. I want all remaining files secured and marked for Tentron clearance only. Commander Shepard, thank you for coming. Did you find something? The Council has ordered a full review into Donald Udina's activities. We're still piecing together his coup attempt. But that isn't why I asked you here. The situation is growing urgent for my people. We are aware your crucible is still missing a key component. The catalyst? Do you know something? Not exactly, but there is a artifact on our homeworld, Thessia, known only to highest levels of my government. What is it? 
With any luck, it's a means to help you locate the catalyst. The artifact is kept in a temple located at these coordinates. I've ordered a scientific team to meet you there. If this artifact is so important, why keep it hidden? Every species in the Citadel has its secrets, Commander. But this one, in the wrong hands, would upset the balance of galactic power. The Reapers are doing that right now. Which is why I'm bringing this to you. I appreciate the help. It's you who will be helping us. The Matriarchs are growing desperate. For the first time in our history, Thessia is vulnerable. For all our intellect, we're outmatched by Reaper firepower. I'll do what I can. Whether you know it or not, you've become the sole ray of hope in a very dark night. Goddess be with you. Of course. We can have ships at the colony in 36 hours. Do you need medical support? No. Evacuating the colony is more than enough. Thank you, Ambassador. Ambassador? I'm coordinating actions for the fleet while we're here. Evacuating colonies, bolstering Turian defense lines. Huh. I think it was right here. Three years ago to the day. What? This was where Saren's assassins fired at me. I'd just gotten to the Citadel. I didn't think I needed my barriers up. My mistake. Saren had assassins after you? Right. I disabled the Geth and found that recording that proved he was working with the Reapers. I went to Ilium and tried to inform the authorities, but Saren's mercenaries attacked me. I barely escaped. I stowed away on a Turian freighter and came out here. I thought I was safe. You never told me about this. How bad was it? Got me in the arm. They used polonium rounds. I was running a fever in minutes. It was the first time I'd been really hurt on my pilgrimage. I ran to the Council Embassy, asked for protection, offered the data on Seren. The Turian clerk called me Soot Rat. He threatened to have me tossed off the station if I didn't leave. I wish that clerk could see you now. He just did. That was him back there. I don't think he remembers me. Maybe we should go have a little talk with that clerk. <laughs> I spent three years waiting to come back and make his life hell. But when I finally saw him, he was just a clerk whose people desperately need help. Which they'll get, thanks to you. Nice work, Ambassador. This war is more important than grudges and prejudice. Maybe he and I both needed to grow up a little. The difference is that you helped when it counted. Thanks, Shepard. So did you.